Hey guys, this is Zero to my Kitsune, and let's talk about the Aqua's Rift for a few minutes. So, first of all, let me tell you what you get and how it's gonna work out. You get an Oculus Rift for $600, USD. It's shipping for the pre-orders March 28th. One of the really weird things is if you look inside the box and what you're actually getting, it actually comes with an Xbox One controller. You know that $50, $60 thing that comes with it. Mm -hmm. Could've cut back the price a little bit by not including that. Whatever, they, they probably have some sort of reason for that. Now, the, the specs you're gonna need for the, the Oculus Rift is an NVIDIA GTX 970 or AMD R9 290 equivalent or greater. Uh, your processor is going to need to be an i5 processor, obviously. Uh, you need 8GB of RAM, that's pretty bog standard nowadays to be honest. You need an HDMI 1.3 video output and 3 USB 3.0s and 1 USB 2.0. Now I've heard people say that you only really need 2 because the third USB is for a device that Oculus Rift actually it doesn't have support for on release. So keep that in mind, maybe you can get away with two USB 3.0s. You also need at least Windows 7, but you know, 8 was okay. 10 kinda irritates me, but I'm running it and it's pretty okay. Now on the Oculus site, there is a program you can download to check if your PC can run it. I failed the test spectacularly because my processor is out of date, obviously, and Something was wrong with my USB ports. Uh, I didn't look at it too long, but that's that, that's something. Now, the Oculus Rift is going to be available for pre-order in February, starting at $1,499 for the bundle. But that does come with the Oculus Rift itself. So basically, you're paying $1,000 for a PC that can run Oculus Rift and for the Oculus Rift itself. Now, I took a quick, quick look on Reddit, and what I saw was someone had posted two PC part picker builds which show that you can build an Oculus Ready PC for around $766 and he also had a second one for $1019 which is basically the price of the Oculus Ready PC. So not including the Oculus Rift, you bait, you can make a PC for less than what the Oculus Ready PC is costing so keep that in mind, links in the description for that if you want to just copy his build. Now. The Oculus Rift has a wide list of supported games right now, like because the Oculus Rift has been in beta, so plenty of games have just you know linked themselves to the beta and like we can run Oculus Rift, so it's gonna have pretty okay game support right off the bat. I'm more interested with like stuff like maybe Skyrim, which has been proven to be able to run Oculus Rift, though I don't know how well. Now, we're gonna get into some opinionated stuff. I know people talk about games, 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 but really, the Oculus Rift is more probably about the experience right now. Games are not as important right out the gate. Personally, to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to that Japanese hentai. But I wonder how long it'll take the Japanese market to just jump on the Oculus Rift. They probably already have. Now, like I said, I don't care about the tech demo games they've shown off so far but those open world games are gonna be amazing Skyrim Fallout 4 when those get Oculus Rift compatibility and they will either through the official developers or modding capabilities probably more modders for, for Skyrim but we might actually see Bethesda step up for Fallout 4 it is their current baby let's see I know some people are talking about how this is the next step but I just don't see it. I really think this huge hunk of junk is going to be kind of a niche thing. Be just how it's presented and how you play the games. I don't think VR is really going to be that big a deal until we hit that Sword Art Online level of VR. Where you know, you're sitting in your bed basically asleep while your brain plays the game and you wake up and you remember it all. That's probably the level of VR we need before it becomes 100% mainstream and everyone's using it. Now, one one thing I know another YouTuber saying, Review Tech USA, he believes that it'll be better used in the medical field, and I 100% believe in that. 
I think this could be amazing for rehabilitating people. Could be an awesome piece of tech. I, the possibilities are limitless for what the medical field could use for this. Now, let me talk to all you people who are actually going to buy this $599 piece of tech. Beware, it might not be exactly what you're hoping for. You guys are the early adopters. You are the guinea pigs. You are the test people. And remember, when the Kinect first came out, that was a disaster. And that was supposed to be the next step in technology. But I won't knock you if you do buy it. It's probably going to be a fun piece of tech. For the average consumer, though, just wait for the reviews. Don't save up your life savings trying to be like, I need this Oculus Rift. No, 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 no. Calm down. Wait. Hear what other people have to say about it. And maybe come, you know, Christmas time next year, it'll be cheaper. Or maybe there'll be a competitor out within a few years. And maybe it'll even be better because, you know, that's how, that's how economics should work. But yeah, that's, that's my opinion on the Oculus Rift. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. And thanks for watching.